In today's hardcore leveling episode, we are heading into a scary place. That is Philwood. We're gonna be doing everything and we're gonna get it done nicely, okay? No mistakes, just pure clean gameplay, guys, okay? Taking on some new mobs. Oh, dude, we got respawns. Holy. Uh, give me a moment here. And perhaps even getting lucky with some rare drops. My name is Guzu TV, and this is how I got the disgusting oozling. Today, guys, you see we're on the boat. We are traveling in the Great Sea of Azeroth. And we're actually be go we're going to a new area today called Fellwood. We're going to be heading to Fellwood, guys, because that is the next destination for the big gussy. That is where we are heading, and that's where we're going right now. And hopefully, we can survive. There's many people that have died in Fellwood on their hardcore characters. But I will not make my character one of those deaths today, guys. So we'll make the small journey, and we're going to run over to Fellwood, and we're going to get this started. Okay, this is one of the more scary zones to go into on a hardcore character. And today, we are heading in here, guys. We're gonna be doing everything, and we're gonna get it done nicely, okay? No mistakes, just pure clean gameplay, guys, okay? So, a lot of the lore in this uh, this place, guys, is that they want to clean up Fellwood. Because, as you guys can see, it's kind of corrupted. So, it's up to us to cleanse it, right? First things first, though, let's pick up the quests, yeah? This guy has a quest for us as well. Nice. He wants us to go slay uh, a bunch of mobs down here. And then we're gonna go pick up the quests up here as well, okay? Forces of Jaden Arm. Right, let's pick up this quest as well. Ooh, our quest log is full. Green Hills of Stranglehorn, guys. I've been hanging on to this for such a long while. I I think it's time to just give up on this goddamn quest, guys. I cannot believe we were missing one page to get the quest done, though. What a shame. All right, we got every single quest we want here, guys. Let us go summon Carl, and we'll go. Let's start off the day with a little bit of suction, guys. That's always a good way to start. There we go. We got the soul shard, and then we get ourselves a hillstone here. Nice. Okay, hillstone is acquired. Questing has started. Let's get it going. Can't remember which ones are the low level. Or like, I think it's the Pathfinders that have the, the rarest uh, spawn rate. There's one of these mobs I remember that was always the hardest to get. And I think it's these guys right here. The ones with the bow. All right, there you go. Guys, this is a pack of three mobs. Very dangerous. Lots of people cannot do this by themselves. But we have Carl on our side. So we're going to send in Carl there. And I'm going to go on this guy. Watch this, guys. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Extreme gameplay. Uh, wait, we didn't pull all three. Wait, this is actually clickbaiting. Oh, sorry. I'm not clickbaiting, guys. There we go. Three mobs. I'm gonna full dot everything up and cut it a little bit away. Then once this guy gets close, I'll do a fear. There we go. And Carl needs to not die. This is gonna get death coiled so he doesn't heal. He got that healed anyway, didn't he? We'll just finish up this mob real fast. This is, again, a testament of how strong fear is, guys. Look at this. He's just struggling over there. He doesn't even know what day, it, uh, what day it is, man. Holy crap. We are cleansing Fellwood at a pace nobody has cleansed Fellwood ever before, guys. And that's how it goes. Yeah, so we'll just keep working our way through these woods, guys. I think I'm gonna choose to go right. I usually go left, but you know what? I'm feeling frisky today, guys. Let's go right. Carl, I don't even know what you're saying anymore, man. I think Carl is uh, starting to lose his mind, guys, from all this leveling. Oh, I'm actually gonna equip my Lufa again. I don't know why I don't have my Lufa on anymore, because I was in Western Plaguelands, right? Am I the bad person, guys, for killing a, a little gardener? Look at him. He has a little shovel. He's just out shoveling some dirt, having a good time, and I'm coming in here just ruining his day completely. What is that we say, guys? We do it for the glory and experience of world of warcraft as long as as long as we get our xp or our loot nothing matters right oh shoot uh i guess we're do oh that's another mob right there okay uh it's fine it's fine it's fine i think i'll set carl on focusing that guy i'll just make sure we dot up this guy too we'll emulate here this one was still feared up there i'll death carl this mob here and we'll focus on that guy. Dude, we're just getting xp while fighting these two mobs i can't even see the third guy and he's dying over there okay and we're looking good guys that is the quest done not that great I mean, it's an okay chest, I guess, but I, I eight stamina, losing eight stam is not good. I guess I'll take it, though. This is the quest up north. All right, so this is the quest that we have in... Um, this is the quest that we got in Iron Forge. So we have a little bag here with some ooze containers. Some of these oozes are from this place here and some other oozes, I believe... Oh, gosh, are they both from here? I think they actually mo might both be from here. Regardless, though, we gotta get some oozes up here, guys. And I... Oh, yeah, so we killed them. And then we, like, fill the jar. Dude, this is, like, weird collecting these, man. We're collecting a bunch of ooze from these mobs. Well, I guess somebody's gonna do the dirty job, eh? Oh, 
Oh yeah, by the way, the next dungeon we have planned. I, I know a lot of you guys are asking about dungeons and stuff like that. Uh, I really want to do Sunken Temple at level 54, which is in two levels. So we have a little bit more time before doing a dungeon, but that will be the next one. We're going to be heading, heading into the Temple of Atal Hakar, where the Shade of Aranicus is. It's going to be an interesting time, but for now, we will be doing some Felwood gaming, okay? I believe these Cursed Oozes can, in this scum-covered bag, drop a really rare pit called the Disgusting Oozling, which is a uh, very, very rare pit and a really weird pit because it actually adds a debuff to your uh, character. It's like, it reduces your resistance, I believe, by a certain, by like 10 or 5 or so. It's kind of funny. If I recall correctly, it was actually used for a uh, for a boss in AQ40 because it I can't remember what, but there was something that, that like, it worked good on, basically. And I'm gonna get it right here, guys. My name is Goose with CV, and this is how I got the disgusting oozling. What? <laughs> Uh, not really, but, you know, we were close. Oh, bro, I have seen so many people die here, guys. In the ruins of Constellas. These satyrs are scary, and we are heading in here, guys. Let's get it done. We cannot fear the unknown, guys. We are the unknown. Let's bring these mobs back. These mobs are scary because they have a... Uh, there's a bunch of stealth mobs all over the place. These mobs can cast spells, obviously. They have fast respawns, and it's just overall a scary time. A lot of these mobs, they, they can gouge too. They have a massive slow... Oh my god, there's so many bad things here, guys. Can we bring Carl all the way back, please? Because I don't want to pull this mob in here. No, Carl's gonna die, guys. I'm sorry, Carl. This is where Peo's characters die, died as well. Yeah, so th the things you gotta keep out for here, as I said, guys. Stealth mobs, number one. Number two, they have a 30-second slow. Number three, fast respawns. And number four, let's get some park champs in the chat. We gotta follow the mouse all the way in here. All the way through this little zone there. And we gotta kill a boss called Savarathras. Right, but in order to get there, we gotta clear some mobs. And we're also hoping we can get a little fill cloth, guys, because we do have a warlock quest called the Imp's Request, which requires us to get a uh, fill cloth from one of these guys. So I'm hoping that we can get it. Uh, look at the 30 seconds slow. Since we are a gnome, I want to check if Escape Artist works on this. Oh, it does. Okay, that's good to know. It's actually Bis being a, uh, a gnome here then, because we can just Escape Artist those. All right, I'm going to stick to the right side here and then hope that we don't die, yeah? Gnome Master Race, guys. Escape Artist removes everything. Let's go. Oh, there's one there. Bro, this is what I mean. Like, you, you never know if you're safe, man. Like, ever. Because there, there can always be, like, a little Shadow Stalker coming up uh, on you, right? Sneaking up. So we're gonna take our, our time slowly through this place, okay? There's two guys there. Okay. Okay, I need to be careful about running far away. I'm just gonna stand still and dot these guys up. I'll do a little death call on this guy, and I'll fear the other guy. Wait, can these be feared? Oh, they can. Okay, nice. I'll just finish off this guy here. Hopefully, he doesn't go too far and pull another mob. Jesus Christ, man. There's another mob there. Your mana is mine now. I know I have the... Dude, I forgot to train the ability, man. So there's two ways I can see these mobs, like the stealth mobs. I can either train Detect Invis from the trainer, if I had done that, or I could use a Fell Hunter. But I don't... I don't I'm not using a Fell Hunter since I am doing the... Imp challenge, right? I'm gonna send Carl on this guy, and then we're gonna do this guy here. Fear this. Full on dots on the boss. And then we dot this guy as well. It takes so long to get all the dots up and running, man. And now we should be good to go. There it is, dude. Imagine struggling in Felwood, boys. Warlock is just too powerful, man. Got it done. Ooh, I think that was our first rune cloth, by the way. Oh! Oh! We got it! Fell cloth acquired, guys. Let's go. But let's just finish off these jade fires first, okay? So we can get that done. Oh, dude, we got respawns. Holy. Uh, give me a moment here. I'm actually gonna use a mana pot for this. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, this guy's dying as well, so that's fine. Let me use this here and then emulate. Bro, we're getting respawns like really, really bad timing. Holy. I, I think we gotta... If we if we do pull up a lot of mobs like this, we just gotta make sure that we don't, like, run, man. If we start running here, that's when we get in trouble because then we're gonna get ambushed by a bunch of rogues, right? And shadow stalkers and stuff. Nice one we acquired in Blast Lands the other night, guys. I don't like this place, man. It gives me the EBGBs, man. So we wanna get the Phil Sworn, which is the caster Andes, but it seems like there's only rogues up right now. Okay, I'm just dotting up these guys. Dude, it, it really takes a long time to dot up mobs, guys. Thank you for the Prime LT Falcon, and also think that on bits, Robert. Bro, they keep... Dude, these guys are peekaboo, man. What's going... Is this peekaboo or something? W's in the chat right now! They're gouging my, my drain life. They're gouging my fears. God damn. It's the move coming through here, guys. Okay. What's up, Stealthy? Hello? Oh. Holy! Okay, calm down. 
Oh, hollow terror, hollow terror, hollow terror. Jesus Christ. Okay, this mob is over there. That mob is over there. This mob is down there. Uh, we're good, I think, because I'm going to finish this mob up here. I'm going to death carl that guy. Do a life tap. Fear this guy. Let Carl finish off that guy. That guy's dead. Then we kill the Shadow Stalker that's close. Holy. Yeah, I know we can use Banish. Yeah, we, we can also use Banish here as well, but... Uh, I don't think we need it. I think we're good. Jesus Christ. We still have a Hillstone. We still have a Health Pod, guys. Do you guys believe now? The Gossi can't die. All right, we got this quest done. That's very, very good. Let's go turn on the imp's request up here. Who is this guy? Parsh. Uh-oh. What does he want? Level 60. I've done it. I've made it all the way, as you put it. All this bad karma I've accumulated, piling it up. Everything's in place. I'm ready to push it past the point of no return. This world doesn't have long left, so I might as well clear up any confusion. I'll tell you why I've done this. You deserve to know. Back in Westfall, I told you something. In Duskwood, Madam Eve taught me how to sense karma. I sensed every death. Every single death. My comrades. Death. The naive hope I had. The idea that we've stick it through until the very end shattered. I felt their final moments. Their realization. Their dread. Their sorrow over and over. Nobody's prepared to feel that. It was inescapable. I needed a distraction. So, I hit the tankard pretty hard. I think I was four or five pints deep when you walked into Lokmodan's Hunter Lodge. I lashed out, but berated you. Wished death upon you. I needed something to direct my anger at. I needed release. But instead of releasing, I found stability. I realized that instead of mourning death, I should celebrate it. I could want you death. And while you lived, it could give me something to cling on to. Because people wouldn't just stop dying. If I didn't take that opportunity, I'd go mad, mauled, or mauled, mad sooner or later. If people would die anyway, did it really matter if I expect I expect bing bong bang the process? It did. It hurts. It still hurts. But back then, it was an island of the stability in a sea of despair. So I convinced myself that you were evil. And I propped up all these lies, fed Madame Eva and Nipsey's misconceptions, weaved a narrative all your sinful nature to back it all up. It was never about saving lives, Guzzy. If it was, I would have stopped. Remember how I said I could sense karma? You really didn't give it a second thought, did you? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I could feel people die as I accused you. Arathi's Cove, the bridge in Wetlands, it happened so many times. I knew what I was doing. I knew it all along. I knew you were innocent, but I was too concerned with saving myself to accept reality. That being said, things had a funny way of working out. You'd expect me to apologize now, wouldn't you? Beat the fallen, atone for what I've done, all the stuff that Nipsey would think fi <laughs> fixed the world. And he's laughing. No. I'm anything but sorry. Oh! Standing here right now, I'm glad things turned out this way. I'm glad that I fed myself with delusion, clung to it, killed everybody that I did. I'm proud of my resolve. I didn't think it would this way until recently, but hey, don't question good thing now, do we? Oh shit. As for what it is, you don't get to know yet that yet. Tell you what, make it a little further, a little closer to where I need you to be, and then I'll tell you. I was wrong about one thing though. There is a good ending for you, Gussie. Hell, there's a good ending for everybody. Oh, And I can't wait to finally make things right. Oh. This might actually be the redemption arc for Parsh. I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it might actually be the redemption arc where we turn things around. Oh, shoot. You could think death is a good ending. Oh. Maybe he's so deluded at this point that a good ending would be death. This is wrong, guys. This is this is just wrong. Yeah, we gotta collect some more oozes here, man. Gotta talk to the little imp here as well. Do you have my fell cloth and a splendid warlock you are? Impsy holds the fell cloth to his face. Oh, how I love the feel of it. The way it burns your skin and weaves evil thoughts through the mind. Okay, it's kind of weird. Uh, hey. All right. Uh, well, it is what it is. Oh, dude, this is the Infernal quest. If I'm to teach you the secrets of summoning an Infernal servant, you must destroy Croceus and bring me the Infernal core from his burning remains. This, however, is not as easy as it sounds. Croceus has has all but burned out completely. And you must reignite his corpse and raise him from the rubble. To do this, however, you must gather some components from other demonic entities. My imp Ipsy 
shall set you on your way. Oh boy, here we go again. If you're gonna reanimate Crocius, you need fell fire. I can make the fell fire, but I need to require some components. You need to get me some flawless fell essences from three distinct regions of the world. The legacy satyrs of Ashara will have the first essence type. The Jadenar Legionnaires of Jadenar, the second type, and the Felgard Entries of the Blasted Lands, the third. Bring me back one of each essence, and I will create the Fell Fire, allowing you to reanimate Crocius. Oh, flawless Fell Essence. Ashara, Jadenar, and Dark Portal. We will definitely get this quest done, guys. I think once we're like 53 or so, we'll, we'll definitely work on that for sure, right? You finally, you can grieve low levels. Hey, dude, you... No, you're not supposed to be doing that, man. 